Ladies and gentlemen, Star Wars Episode 1 Jedi Power Battles from the year 2000 on PlayStation 1 is coming back into our lives on the 24th of January 2025 and I thought in celebration I would do some graphic comparisons between the original version and what you will be getting now. Plus what new features have been added and all that good stuff. Now, before I dive headfirst, I just want to say I am blown away by the support in my previous video covering the Soul Reaver Remaster bundle, where we also did a graphics comparison and went over the fun stuff and yada yada. That was a lot of fun, that video. Heaps of information if you haven't already seen that, I'd recommend after this one. But we are about to crack 70,000 views Oh my god, and so many Smexy fellow gamers subscribed as well, so I just want to say thank you kindly. Okay, let's get to the good stuff where we jump between graphics and getting excited for the Star Wars game itself. We will have 13 playable characters. So the 13 is not what we played before, but a lot more, a lot of new additions. We now have, and I'm going to butcher every single name and I do apologize, we now have the Rifle Droid, Staff Tusken Raider, Ishitib, and Wequay. How did I do? I'm sure I butchered it up anyway. <laughs> now, this game is coming to the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Switch, PC, and Xbox. If you happen to buy the PlayStation version, you get access to both the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 versions of the game. We can also toggle between the original lightsabers in the game as well, because on release with the original game, the colors didn't match the film, and now they have corrected that. Cheat codes are also making a big return, like big head mode, which um, I'm feeling my age here. Back during the PlayStation 1 generation, there was always codes to make uh, 3D model heads just really big. It was just this fun little thing, and it seems all of the cheat codes from before will work again. You will also have access to training rooms, which is good because this game was hard by memory and also bonus levels. All the new characters, the training room and everything else is unlocked from the start uh, and that has been confirmed. So I personally like to unlock things because I enjoy the incentive, but for those of you who want to unlock it immediately, it will be there. Now, just like the Soul Reaver uh, Remaster Bundle, if you wish to pre-order, you will once again be rewarded with a 10% discount. The game is $26.55 Australian or $17.90 USD for my American viewers. The game also mentions New Game Plus, which I hope is exactly what it sounds like. Now, let's perv on some graphics because it's fun to do, and our memory really does betray us. <laughs> how you think you remember this game and how it actually was, was very different. Also, good news, you can toggle between the classic and modern controls, and the game will also now have achievements slash trophies. First up, a close-up of our man running with the blue lightsaber in hand. I feel it's a nice one-to-one -one comparison to start off with. The left is obviously from the new version, and the right is how it looked back in 2000 <laughs> on the PlayStation 1. No surprises, it's all sharp and crisp now and faithful to the original designs. Let's zoom out a bit and see how the indoor environments hold up. So, this is the old, shiny, yet blurry, PlayStation 1 was doing the best it could, now the new, super clean and more detail has been added. Old, one, two, three, new, one, two, three. All right, let's compare the robots to each other. Uh, I never realized how blurry it previously was, but we played on CRT screens anyway, so it didn't really matter. Now, the new droids, they look nice, and I actually like the splash of color added. Let's zoom in further. Wait, no, 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 no. This just hurts to look at. Let's just agree that things are already looking better. Time to go outside and look at grass. Alrighty, the ground texture is completely different and of course looks better for it. This looks nice and let's zoom in on some actual grass to see if any touch-ups have been done there and if the developers do look at such small details or not. Oh, you know what? There we go. That looks completely different and much better for it. 
Keep in mind a lot of textures throughout the game would have had to be completely redone at certain points because textures don't simply look good by simply upscaling them artificially. A lot more hands-on approach is actually needed with these games. Now before jumping to the next visual comparison, I just want to quickly remind you what made this game so great in the first place and why yet again I think I'll need to get my hands on this. This game is a fun arcade experience that I remember really fondly. The game is not easy, but it's not unforgiving. Blocking fire beams or whatever you call them deflects the shots just like the movies and hits the shooter dead on. It's actually satisfying and you need to time the blocking. Each player plays differently with combos, special moves and of course force moves. It really made the experience different with each player in the best possible way and it supported co-op play with a buddy which once again is available. Even how the enemies would split in half or explode was very satisfying. Expect platforming parts as you try not to fall down holes and a lot of different environments. In one word, those of us who were lucky enough to play this game back in the day, just remember it as one word, fun. Now back to the graphics. This next part has not been confirmed, but I would also expect this game to run at 4K on all consoles, except maybe the Switch. It's an old game and they are not pushing any drastic modern features, but frame rate is anyone's guess. 30 frames per second, 60 frames per second, no idea. Lastly, this close up of the robot thing. Yeah, I'm not a big Star Wars fan. I love this game specifically and I have seen the movies, but that's about it. Anyway, that's it for today. Not a lot has been shared at this stage, but I hope you're excited for yet another PlayStation 1 adventure. And thank you so much to anyone who was kind enough to subscribe while watching this video. God bless you all. Let me know down below in the comment section, did you get a chance to play this game and are you excited? Frankly, this was just a solid fun game. So I'm happy to see a solid fun game make a return. I've missed playing this game. I lost the original disc, I had it, but then I lost it over the years. Well, decades, let's be honest, this came out 25 years ago. I lost it, someone freaking stole it, and now I can play this game. Alright, God bless you all.